Welcome back Hot Wheels fans, it's Bertie again at a super early time in the morning. It is oh, 20 to 7 on a Sunday morning, what are you doing Bertie? I know what I'm doing, I am off to the Kempton Toy Fair today. So, got about an hour's drive, got coffees on board with me. Time to get a move on and try and get in their early doors, huh? Let's see what we can pick up. So you join me back at Kempton Park. I've already been inside and had a little browse around. It is early, it is really early. Not everybody is here, not everybody is set up. So come on, let's go and have a little look around. As you can see, there's still loads of boxes around, but look at this. People got some proper setups going on here. This guy's got some lovely bits in there. Mm. It looks like he's been very, very organised too. Look at that, Camaro's in there, looks like Beatles in there. Number two. So number thirty-six. Number seven. Yeah. 
Hot Wheels fans back in the car now that was a big one my goodness um, it's Sunday so I'm gonna go and do a little peg hunt no entertainers today as it is a Sunday but we should be able to lay our hands on some bits and pieces over at Smith's if they've got something new and exciting so let's get the car started let's get on the road and let's go and see what we can find First Smith's in ages I've actually popped into where they've got some reasonable stock right Let's have a little nose through and see what we can pick up. Uh, okay. Oh, there's a charger. Uh, DBS. Zoom in. Electro silhouettes. We have a race car. McLaren 720S. May pick up one of those. Okay, next one down. Oh yes, I've just seen hiding behind here. Woohoo! Look, one and two. Thank you very much. Okay. The RS. Oh, is that green speed out? Well, I think that looks like a, yes, blue Tesla. Lovely. Good fit through there. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Ooh, so 
behind there, see that people? We've got a blue Porsche. I think maybe we should have a little go on that. We've got an orange Senna. Okay, next along we've got, oh yes, I've been looking for this again. Not seen it for a while, people. We've got, there we go, two RS6. Aventador J, which I'm not a big fan of, but what is another 720S? Whoop. Okay, got my bill, 50th anniversary, whatever that is. See what we got, McLaren Senna, we've got two of those, two of those, two of those, two of those, one of those. Not a bad little haul, people. Right, back home now, finally. So I can whiz through and show you what I've managed to pick up today, starting with these three. So one of the first stalls that I went to, and there were so many there that I could not hold my phone and try and look through at the same time. So I picked up from the first batch. Um, let's start with this one here at the top. Picked these first two up because they're just cool little castings to be fair. Lancia Stratos in red with that beautiful gold wheel. Really, really nice that one there. Thought I'd pick that up because it's a plain casting. Uh, have we got, yeah, literally kind of little silver detailing for where the Lancia uh, badge would be. But apart from that, it's pretty plain. Yeah, no rear light temples, nothing across the top besides. There is a little Hot Wheels, sorry, let's try and pick the light up there. Little Hot Wheels on the boot spoiler there. But yeah, apart from that, really nice little gold fire spokes. Cool little piece, very nice. Next up. Now, I've been waiting, actually, to try and find one of these. I was kind of expecting to see one at some point crop up, and I'm pleased I've managed to find Mercedes CLKLM, and that, I think, is almost like the road-going version, that one there. Um, gold wheels, black plastic spoiler across there, no front temples to it, but does have the front splitter. And then through the back, again, plain, the diffusers added into the uh, into the actual um, body, but a nice casting, really, really nice casting that one there. Okay, third one that I picked up, and we've got a P -P -P Porsche. So first one that we've got in this little batch, and the first one that I picked up as well. So we've got keeping it on the uh, Le Mans type racer theme. We've got the 911 GT one from 1998. So that one came with the teardrop lights. Quite a lot of sponsorship and branding across the top of this one here. You can see you've got 24 hours of Le Mans, number 27, numerous branding sponsors across the top there. But in purple, silver wheels, or silver kind of lace wheel. Nice, first 911 GT one that I have. Right, next up we've got, I'm actually going to start with this Porsche here, and I'm super pleased that I managed to pick this up. And I don't care that it's on a battered card, because I really, really needed and wanted one of these, and was struggling to pick one up at a decent price, certainly under a tenner anyway. But there we go, we've got 993 GT2, huge rear spoiler, gold wheels, little um, kind of stone chip detailing across the bottom and on the front of the splitter there. The lights pull through from the windshield, Porsche crust is there. Beautiful, really, really nice. 
Okay, do you know what? I'm gonna whip this one out very quickly because I know it's coming out. I know I've got the perfect cards inside of my box. So let's not muck around, eh? Let's just get it out and take a proper little look. There we go. Do you know what? Let's just flip that slightly. Lovely, really, really, really nice casting. Big fan of 993 GT2 and in white with the gold, oh, I think it's a real, real peach. Lovely, very, very nice indeed. Oh wow, do you know what? I had not realized that at all. I thought it was in a kind of um, normal sort of paint, but it, this is actually in a matte white or like a chalk white. You can even feel it when feeling um, feeling the paint itself. Even nicer, even nicer seeing that detail on there. Lovely, very happy, very, very pleased with that one there. Uh, okay, so this, uh, these are the next two that I picked up from the same stall. And we have, to go with my tester collection, we have in the grey. So that really nice grey, little red lip detailing around the wheels. Light temples through the front and through the rear, we've got, again, light temples are there. The silver trim detailing just above the Hot Wheels number plate. Model S is there, quite a large rear diffuser and splitter on the front of that one. But in grey, really nice, nice colour, really itchy nose, really itchy nose. And because I needed to purchase three uh, to make it up to the amount that I was after, we have a McLaren P1 in blue, which I don't think I've got. I'll be a bit miffed if I go through the collection and find that I have actually got a blue. But yeah, light temples through the rear, which look beautiful on this. Really, really nice light temples. The exhausts are there. Diffuser, so on, so forth. Plastic canopy, and light temples at the front as well. The blue is, the blue's nice, people. The blue is very, very nice. Lovely. So that's the three that I picked up from that stall holder there. Right, okay, let's do the last Porsche that I have got, and then we're on to my Ferrari fetish. So we've seen it before on the channel in white. This lovely little Speedster, which will be ripe for converting. So I will be doing um, a couple of little bits and pieces as and when I keep saying it, I will get round to it. Winter months are coming soon. That'll keep me off work, and that's when I will be able to start doing some customs. Right, so that was a little loosey-goosey on its own, cheap one. I think it's about 50p. Um, and next up, and I was going to give this a clean before putting it on the camera, but we have, I've got it in silver, but we have in the yellow, the 250 LM. I love this casting. I've said before with the silver, giving you the whole spiel, the story about the eBay lot that I lost out on. Yeah, number 21. Knees are clean, but not too bad. We've got a couple of knocks, a couple of marks and so on, but seen worse, definitely seen worse, and the wheels aren't too bad. One side's a little bit worn out, but not bad at all. So first, Ferrari. I've got another two um, that's actually, no, one, two, three, four that I picked up from the next stall. So... Actually, no, tell a lie. Picked up, picked up one of them from another stall, and then these three. So let's do the three, two of which are loose. So keeping it yellow, keeping it Ferrari, we've got a P4. And this is actually in really good, really good nick. There's not a scratch, there's not a mark on it at all. It's pristine. Underneath pristine, all the wheels are all good, all good. But yeah, chrome interior. Clear plastic uh, windows, white light temples at the front, and also the Ferrari prancing horse there as well. Very nice, very pretty. Slightly different, it's a bit more, a bit brighter actually, so a bit more canary. And then that one, a little bit brighter. And the first of three that I picked up actually, we have a Ferrari race car, one, was it 156? Yes, 156. This is the only blue one that I have picked up so far. So number seven, gold wheels or kind of disc type wheels. 
metal base, exhaust running off the metal base as well. And through the uh, through the side, we have got little Ferrari badge on the side, not the full Scuderia shields, but um, a smaller version of. So first one, two, uh, sorry, one, five, six. Let's show you the next two. Ta-da. So we have both exactly the same. The only thing that differs will be number two. And that one there are number 36. So we've got those ones there. Do you know what? They're coming out of the pack. Let's not muck around. Let's just get them straight out. Oh, love them. Okay. Down there. How oh, cool. So we've got number seven, number 36. How cool, how cool. So 36 and number two, as I said. Let's go. There we go. Number 36, number two, both in red, same detailing, same, uh, same colorways, same interior, same trim detail. It's all there, people. It's all there, lovely. Very nice little trio of Formula One Ferraris. Right, okay, last piece that I did pick up. Um, and this one here, I already have a pristine red, but now I will have a pristine yellow. Okay, so we've got 599. And that beautiful yellow there. So yeah, there we go. 599 GTB in yellow very very nicely done let me show you through the top there great lovely okay hot wheels fans that's it kempton park done the toy fair certainly the uh, biggest one that i've been to so far but there is a big toy fair coming up next month i believe it is some of the guys and girls were saying there so Keep your eyes peeled. There will obviously be this week's boxes coming up within this week. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Until then, many thanks for watching, people. Like, subscribe. Give me some comments down below. Let's have a little bit of banter. And until the next one, take care, people.